Hi, my name is Annie Drake. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm author of the book, Help Me, I Have a Teenager, The Nitty Gritty Guide for Parental Sanity. And I'm here today to share some ideas and strategies with you to improve your communication with your teenager, because together we build better teenagers. You know it's hard sometimes to communicate with your kids, but what you don't know is what to do instead. And I call it a shift in parenting. So what happens is that something really amazing happens to your kids' ears. You used to lecture them, they were little, they liked it, they paid attention to you, but when they're adolescents, they begin to select who they're gonna to listen to and who they're not gonna to listen to, and you may not be on that wish list. So my job is to help you get on that list, open up communication, and have a really good connection with your teenager. When you start a communication with your teenager, you have about five seconds of air time you either are gonna tell them yes, they can do what they wanna do, or that you're gonna bring them something they really want, and then they're gonna be engaged with you. But if they don't do that, you're stuck. They tune you out, they look away, their eyes roll, and you are stuck. You don't know how to get through that ear block, and it's a dilemma for you. So one of the things, I'm just gonna give you one strategy that works pretty well, is to feed them. And if you show up with hot chocolate chip cookies or a pizza or their favorite kind of sushi, all of a sudden they're paying attention to you. They're connected with you, they're visiting with you. And that's one strategy I have for you to get through that selective hearing loss. But I'm also gonna talk about some other ideas too that will help you communicate better with them. I'm gonna teach you what I call the no lecture method. It's a way for you to communicate with your teenager and what's gonna happen is your teenager is actually gonna lecture you instead of you lecturing your son or daughter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna begin to ask your teenager questions. Your expert with very little expertise, which is your teenager, is gonna respond back to you. And by asking a series of questions, you may begin to actually change how they think about things or what they really need to teach themselves. Teenagers do best when they actually teach themselves rather than you teaching them. So I'm gonna talk about this communication spiral. I'm gonna give you some new ideas and some strategies on how to get your kid engaged with you in a really different way in communicating. So the first thing you're gonna do is the parent is gonna ask a question. And you may ask a question, let's say, to your son to say, well, if you're gonna to decide to flunk this math class because you don't like your teacher, then, you know, what is that gonna do for you with your credits? So then now the teenager is gonna respond. Now, if you have a quiet teenager, or let's say the son really doesn't wanna to talk to his mom, then what he might do is he might shrug, grunt, nod his head, moan a little bit. That is actually a teenage response. So once you get a teenage response, either your kid's talking to you, or they're doing one of these nonverbal things, then what you wanna do as a parent is you wanna ask the next question. And you're gonna say, well, this is your responsibility. So that does that mean if you flunk your class, you're gonna get this teacher again, or you're gonna take summer school? You're gonna wait for the teenager to respond again to you. You're gonna ask another question. Your teenager's gonna respond. In this spiral of communication, you're gonna discover what your teenager is thinking, how, do they, he, how does he or she feel about an issue, what kind of decisions they might decide that they should make, and by asking questions and your teenager responding, you may actually change their ideas, give them a new way to think about it. But the teenager is learning because he learns best if he lectures you, he's actually lecturing himself or your daughter is lecturing herself. And that's gonna be the goal. A great thing to talk about is just to talk about other teenagers. You can talk about their friends and ask questions about friends, but particularly, Teenagers that are older than them bring up all kinds of concepts and ideas about decisions that they're gonna to need to make in the very near future. So you might talk about 12 year olds who are involved in excessive gaming time. And you'd be really surprised how much your teenager loves to tell you about what parents should do and what limits kids should have. The other thing you wanna talk about is anything in the news. Teenagers really like to be involved in problem solving and helping think through ideas. So this is a great way to open up a lot of different kinds of communication with your teenager. I hope you'll be able to take these ideas and use them. If you ask the wrong questions, your teenager will correct you.